The initiative is really about introducing urban youth to this billion dollar racing industry through STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And uh, we've been very successful over the last 23 years in actually being able to do that, having students actually working in the actual industry itself. What warms my heart is seeing the kids become successful. You know, the thing about it is, is obviously in today's times with everything that's going on, to see them just have, you know, to come through the program and just have a successful life of making money, being able to take care of their families, and feeling good about themselves. I mean, that to me is the most important thing to me. Hey, listen, I changed the kid's life. I got him involved in something he would have never been a part of had he not been a part of the Urban Youth Racing School. But what has happened now is I think with this eye racing that's going on right now, these simulators are pretty close to actually being out on, out on the actual car, on the track. So that's very, very powerful. So that cuts back some of the costs, not gonna cut back all the costs. For students from the urban marketplace, to be honest with you, they have the talent to do this, no question about it. But it's really about the backing and the money to be able to, to do it also. So that's the reason why I don't think that some urban kids have been able to make it. But you can bet you can bet your bottom dollar is coming. I joined the Urban Youth Racing School last year. I was part of the program and then because of COVID we had a little, you know, a little slump in the ground. But then they were nice enough to allow me to come back. It means everything to me and my family. I'm on both sides of my family. We have racers, they were drag racers. So for me, make it as a NASCAR driver is big. The simulator is amazing. It's basically like driving a real king. If I have a left rear tire going now, I can fill it inside the simulator. That, that's major because that's one less series that they have to participate. See, in order for you to get to the top series, there's a, there's a, a line of series you have to go through, and that's why the cost is so extreme. And in each of these series, you might be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to do that. At least the simulator racing will cut back on some of those series. And when he first started, you saw no one of color, right? No one of color in the pits, no one on the track. It's been kind of like a trickle down effect through the years, but I think since this racial pandemic has kind of happened, there's been big changes. The motorsports and automotive industry are billion dollar industries and always have been. So you know how they say that you go to the golf course to make the million dollar deals? You go to a, tr a racetrack to make the billion dollar deals. Obviously in today's times with everything that's going on, to see them just have, you know, to come through the program and just have a successful life of making money, being able to take care of their families and feeling good about themselves. I mean, that to me is the most important thing to me. I'm not gonna lie, our ultimate goal too is to have one of our students when they become a race car driver, rather than be in NASCAR, Formula One, or some major series of racing. 